Greetings from the Atlas Trap Company in Benton, Kansas. Today we are going to illustrate the AT250 Tri-Axis Wobble, the only automated three-axis wobble on the market today. We've got our 250 thrower, and then this is the Tri-Axis base, so two components here, and then we also have it mounted to our commercial two-wheel cart. To power the trap, you've got two power cables. You've got one for your base and one for your trap. You can share these with just one battery. One deep cycle marine RV battery is plenty to power both. Something with at least 600 cold cranking amps is ideal. So a couple of quick notes initially here. On your base you have three switches for the three movements. You can work them independently, all together, or you could shut them all down for a stationary shot. So as it is, you could pick an angle and leave the trap like that and shoot several targets. Practice that certain angle. Or you can turn them all on and get as much variety as you would like out of the three movements. Or again, you could use a combination of just two. So to We'll stop it there and throw some targets. We've got a little curl in the machine and we'll uh, illustrate how to operate the machine next. On the trap itself, you've got the port for your release mechanism. So whether you've got a handheld trigger, a foot pedal, a wireless, they all plug in right here. Built-in circuit breaker protection for a sudden drop in voltage uh, to protect the machine. Built-in firing button. So this button does the same thing as plugging in a release mechanism here. This is your cocking and your decocking switch. We'll go over that here in a moment. And this is your spring. This rod here is part of your spring that fires the machine. This hand wheel here is how you adjust that. Turning it to the left will slow the target down. Turning it to the right will speed up the target. Also, when you speed up the target, you get more distance and the reverse is also true. <clears throat> You want to make sure when you load targets initially, the trap is in the semi-decocked position and unhooked from the battery for safety. And we'll go through that step here next. First, I've got the trap decocked, so I'm going to show you how you would cock the machine. So by putting this toggle switch up, the throwing arm cocks, loads the target. Now the machine is cocked and ready to fire. So we can fire one by just pushing the button here and it will recycle, ready to fire again. This switch needs to stay in the up position while you're shooting. To then decock the trap, if you wanna load more targets or you're finished for the day, you put this switch down and fire it one last time. And then over here, you can see that the throwing arm is off to the side. And if you have put the switch down, fired it one time and you see the throwing arm here, that shows it's in the semi-decocked position. Keep in mind that's not a kill switch. There's still power running through the trap. It just is semi-decocked so that um, there's some spring tension taken off. Then you would unhook the battery and that's how you could store it. You never want to store it cocked. Uh, one, it's dangerous. And number two, it puts um, a lot of pressure on the spring that you don't want to leave on there when you're not using it. You also want to load the machine when it's decocked, unhooked from the battery as well. So it come from the back load your targets and then when you're ready to start shooting again move the switch up it's cocked and it's ready to fire we'll, we'll turn on the movements here and throw some targets so you can see the capabilities of the tri-axis working you can see you get a huge variety of targets all over the spectrum The recycle time is about 1.4, 1.5 seconds, so you can really get the targets out there for trailing targets or report pairs. <clears throat> and you can see that the trap loads no problem when it's tilting, moving up and down, right and left. We'll stop it there and we can throw a curling target here. You can see with the machine lean like that, the target's curling off to the left there. Do 
the same for the other side. Take the angle out a little bit and throw more of a line drive. And then you can see it gets to the curl to the right. Again, this is our 250 tri-axis wobble trap, the only one like it on the, in the world today. If you have any questions, visit our website, atlastraps.com, or give us a call, 316-778-2002. Thanks so much.